Hello learners, uh, this is example number three of a problem involving solving partial differential equations using the multipliers method. Now solve by the multipliers method y minus z over y z of p plus z minus x over zx times q is equals to x minus y over x y now first thing let us make a simplified form of this equation before solving it what we should do here is to multiply through this equation by the lcm the lcm is y z i mean x y and z is our LCM. So we multiply through in this equation. So we'll have y minus z over y z p plus z minus x over z x q is equals to x minus y over x y. So times our LCM which is x y z. So x, y, z times this first part will have x into brackets y minus z p plus x, y, z times this second part will have uh, y, z minus x, q is equals to this third part times the LCM x, y, z will have a z into x minus y. Now, let us express this equation in uh, auxiliary form. So we'll have dx over our p which is x into y minus z is equals to dy over our q which is y into bracket z minus x is equals to dz over z x minus y. Next step, we choose our first set of multipliers. Such that when we multiply the multipliers with the denominator and then add, it will give us zero. So our, set, our first set of multipliers, we can really use 1 over x, 1 over y, and 1 over z. So 1 over x times dx is 1 over x dx, plus 1 over y times dy is 1 over y dy, plus 1 over z dz is 1 over z dz, over the denominator. So 1 over x times this first part will have y minus z plus 1 over y times the second part will have z minus x plus 1 over z times the third part will have x minus y. Now y minus y is 0, negative z plus z is 0 then negative x plus x is 0. So we have our denominator as 0. So 1 over x dx plus 1 over y dy plus 1 over z dz over 0. So we'll have 1 over x dx plus 1 over y dy plus 1 over z dz is equal to 0. So we integrate this equation we have ln x plus ln y plus ln z is equal to ln c1. So ln of x, y, and z is equal to ln c1. So the ln cancels out. We have x, y, z is equal to c1. So this is our first solution. Now next, 
we choose our second set of multipliers. We can use 1, 1, and 1. So long as when we multiply by the denominator, it will give us 0. So we have dx times 1 is dx plus dy, then plus dz over 1 times our denominator will give us uh, xy minus xz then plus uh, yz minus xy then plus xz minus z times negative y is yz. So in simplify the denominator will give us 0. So we'll have dx plus dy plus dz over 0. So this is the same as dz, dx plus dy plus dz is equals to 0. So we integrate this equation. We we'll have x plus y plus z is equals to c1. So this is our second solution. Now to get the general solution, we we'll get our first solution which is, uh, so write it in this form, a function of x, y, z, and this is our c2 I mean x plus y plus z is equals to 0 or x y z is equals to phi of x plus y plus z 